do you need to create an appointment request form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And if you need to create an appointment request form, whether you are in the health industry, maybe event organization, or the beauty industry, you can always utilize JotForm to capture those appointment requests. Now for this example, we're gonna focus on a hairdresser, but again, anyone needing an appointment request form can utilize this. Now, the great thing about this is if you aren't really sure how to create this form or what questions to ask, we can always start with a template. So let's go to the top left hand corner. I'm going to create a form. Let's go to the use template option. And I'll just do a quick search for hairdresser. And it looks like we have a few to choose from. We have a point request for hairdressers. Let's go ahead and take a look at this template. So we can see we have their name, email, phone number, how they prefer to be contacted, the different services that they're gonna be offering. And you know what, just to make things easy, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy these. That'll make things easier for us. We have that appointment field and just some long text fields, perfect. Okay, for this, I think we should go ahead and start from scratch. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna head back to my form builder and I'm gonna go back to my forms and let's create a form from scratch on the classic form. And over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some classic form elements. Let's go ahead and do full name. We can do email, address, phone number. And I'd like to add the date picker right here for their birthday. And we can change this to say birthday. And then of course we want to add in the appointment option. Now, something that we also, we copied from that template, we copied the services option. So let's go ahead and choose our drop down. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit the options and paste those in. And we are good to go. Perfect, so let's say, we'll make this say service options. All right, with the appointment field, we can make this fit exactly what we are needing. So right at the top, we can see that we have appointment slot durations. We can change that from 15 minutes all the way to custom time. So let's say that some of our services take hours to complete. We can change that here. We can also choose our interval. So this is gonna be where we choose what our schedule is going to be. Maybe we're gonna be off on Wednesdays or off on the weekends. We can choose to add a new interval here and we can choose those days. Next, we can turn off or on our lunchtime. We can put that time in there. Let's go ahead and make it from 12 to one. Perfect. Next on limits, we can choose to allow people to only choose dates between a certain time period, during a certain rolling time period. Maybe we have a vacation we wanna put in here. We don't want anyone booking while we're going to be out for vacation. And we can also put a maximum number of appointments per day. If I only want to do two people per day, two appointments, we can make that. So let's go ahead and say only only two people can book per day. And we can also give a minimum scheduling notice. So if I want people to give me 48 hours, 72 hours in advance, we can do that as well. Now under advanced, we can choose what the appointment type is. Maybe it's one-to-one -one or a group. Of course, if you're a hairdresser, it's going to be one-on-one, -on -one. but we can also send reminder emails as well. So we can see we have one email that's gonna go two hours in advance. Maybe you wanna send one that is 24 hours in advance and we can customize that email right down here. So here's your friendly reminder that your appointment is coming up. Perfect, and we can edit this to be exactly how we want it. We can change the subject. We can change who the recipients look like, who it is coming from as well. Maybe we want it to be very specific, maybe from our email, we can do that. But as of right now, this is good but I think we are good with the appointment field properties. Now, something else that we can add in is maybe we want them to do a single choice and we can put this at the very bottom and we can do picked and we can do yes and no. We can get rid of these other two options, perfect. Now, something else that we can do is we can make this fit our brand. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get rid of this top one because it's going to be included on our website, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute. But we can come up here to the top right-hand corner, we can choose our form designer, and we can change the overall color scheme. So the page color is gonna be the background, that gray around the outside, and then we have our form color, which is where our questions sit. That currently is white. Now, we can also choose a page image. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a page image. And I chose an image that's already on my website. We can see we have some hairdressing tools around the backside. Now, one thing that I wanna do is I would love to embed this form 
on my website. So up at the top, I'm going to head up to publish. Then on the left hand side, we're going to embed and Jotform makes it really easy. Just a really easy copy this code and paste it in your website. So I'm going to head over to mine. I have a simple page already started. I'm going to come down here to my blank section and whichever website provider you're using, you're just going to look for any type of embedding code, embed HTML and come here. We're going to paste that in update and there is our form perfect so we can make this fit our website perfect all right let's go ahead and preview and let's give it a quick fill and we can choose our date let's go to the next month and we'll say the 13th at 11 a.m perfect and we would just like a haircut and a blow dry. And yes, I would like to be notified of professional services. We can go ahead and submit and we're good to go. So now if I jump back over into JotForum, right now we're currently in the form builder. If I jump over to our tables, we can see all of Jasmine's information, her services, as well as the date of her appointment. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any additional questions about how to use Jot of Form to offer an appointment request form for your users, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.